Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel D Creations Resources. In this YouTube channel you will find videos about science, especially physics, mathematics, languages and many other things. But here we are going to start with a new field I would say and it is called research methodology. So irrespective of whether you are doing sciences or languages, in all these kind of educational fields, you will encounter research when you go to higher levels. And we are going to discuss several aspects of research methodology. So if you want to say what is research methodology, it's basically science of methods which refer to the process of conducting the research. And it also explains the logic behind research. It can describe the steps involved in conducting the research or it can justify why certain methods have been chosen, why they have been adopted and it can also talk about the limitations of research. So basically it brings out the presuppositions and consequences while conducting the research and it answers questions like why, what, when, how, where, it's all the WH questions of conducting the research. Now there is always a research cycle. So uh, there has been a saying that need is the mother of invention. So basically it starts now as I said I am going to emphasize on science especially on physics. So usually it starts with a certain problem and you want to find out a solution for it and for that purpose you undertake research. So this problem itself acts like a motivation or an inspiration and uh, if you want to define a problem it's um, something whose solution is unknown but it is existing and when you say that you are going to now have a research question as a result of motivation from this problem the next step after having the research question is defining a research project. Now research you can say it's the tendency to know about the unknown or to uh, explore whatever is hidden right and when you talk about scientific methods it's an art of investigation of facts and figures. There will be several observations that are to be recorded and then when you execute a research project we'll discuss how you get some result and it is hoped that it is going to solve the practical problem so in a way this is kind of a research cycle that you see here that this is how the process goes so this is just the first step and we'll be looking at several aspects of research methodology in the coming episodes. Thank you.